behave! Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. Continuing our attempt to pass Skyrim finally, even though I'm 75 hours in and I'm only in the fifth main mission. Yeah. So let's do that. Uh. Where's the way of the voice? Wait, are we got the right quest? What the hell is that? How you fucking god damn it? I haven't seen that, I haven't done that ever. Only like a billion times. Alright, that has to be a fucking way around here. was that? Oh man. Is that a troll? That's a troll. Oh shit, that's a troll. Even a bear, oh my god. Okay. 
And the winner is... Oh, there. Round two. I told you. I mean, I had it. Okay. Are they following me? No. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here, walk the steps, meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors, but I never go that high up the path anyway. Go. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Just in case. Uh, in case. Yeah, that. Come up here and fight, you know. No? Okay. Thank you. Fighting. Who are you fighting? Oh, that guy. Okay. If 
Follow me. Or not. Wait, am I going the right way? Jesus Christ. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. I... I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Until next time. Okay. Need more stamina. Oh shit, we finally made it. Jesus. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Shout at us, and let us taste of your voice. Fools! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. Oh, I speak the for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? You, you call me. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. 
We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. I kill so many dragons right now. Without training, you have already taken the first steps to walk. One second. This is again too fucking dark. And then, God damn it. Four. Projecting your voice into a thune. A shot. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharper. Oh, we got this. unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. They will make the shout more powerful. Peak the star. Okay. Are you ready? Use both foos and row. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Peak the star. What now that? Well done. Again. 
Oh, I gotta hold it down longer. God damn it. Boost. Boost. The eyes blow him away. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Hurry up. Sorry. Project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bori, and we will give you the charge of Kessel. Straight whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Now your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Uh... Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. 
In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Uh. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Uh. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Uh... Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Uh... As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Okay. What? Got you. I think we're gonna call it here, guys. That was a very nice video. We finally did a proper quest line qu uh, quest. Next video, we'll get that damn uh, whatever the hell we need to get. See you guys on the next video.